All right, so we got an, another uh, fun error here, and I wanted to take a minute to point this out for you guys to help you out if uh, you run into this problem. I've seen this before, and it's a really funny, uh, funny situation here. Um, it looks really bad, like you're getting towards the end, and it's putting together the different uh, images, and it goes to, in this case, the cache image, but this could happen with any any of the images, system or cache or whatever. And it says, it pulls this trace back and says, hey, there's something wrong. Looking, adding image to target files, adding image to target files, line blah, 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 to line blah, 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 line blah, blah, blah. And it says, image props file system type equals fs tab forward slash cache dot fs type key error cache. And anytime you see this where it says image props fs type fs tab fs type key error cache, what it's saying is it looked in your fs tab dot qcom or dot whatever the name of your fs tab file is and it's looking for the key error this keyword cache and so what's funny is if we open this up i opened it up from our tree here and control find we say cache and what do we see it's not even in the in the folder so it's looking for the keyword of cache and it can't find it in there it says there is no cache so it doesn't work uh, which is really really funny because as I went through and adding these upgrades and things like that then I ended up <laughs> somehow um, changing the FS tab file and not having a cache anymore which is really important you need to know where that is so essentially it you know the FS tab file the way that it works is it says you know this device needs to be mounted in this spot and it's a this type of file system and here's some commands to go with it that are actually up here, but since it line wraps, you know, it goes around. Uh, we could actually make this bigger, and then it will show up on line, one line. But so uh, so the way that um, this works, in this case, we'll do syst it's system device block boot device by name system. So it finds that block device, the system image, and it mounts it in the system folder with a type of ext4 file system and it gives it this flag of read only barrier equals one discard and then it has a wait option at the end and you can have all sorts look at this no no suid no super user id uh, type uh, no auto da allocation um, check encryption you know all this kind of stuff you can have all sorts of options there's thousands of them out there and it all depends on what type of file system you have. So uh, very, very important. It needs to know where to mount this cache file. So it's building this cache image, and it needs to know where it's supposed to go. And so I looked at, I was like, well, what was it before? So I jump on my Blue Life XL um, repository here, and I, I look at what it was before, and I bring up uh, what it used to be and it is right here so we can just copy this whole line right here and we can paste it we'll just put it right under system here we could have put it at the end of the file it doesn't really matter but it's device block boot device by name cache is going to be mounted at cache it's an ext4 file type and it has all of these options so <clears throat> um, just uh, just a funny thing that can happen to you uh, one of those things is you're borrowing from somebody else's work. If you're pulling commits from someone else's repository, it might actually, uh, quote, mess up something in your repository. So uh, do keep that in mind, and uh, especially if you see an error like this with this um, this whole key error and image props file system type, FS tab, you know exactly where to go look now. It's going to be in your um, FS tab um, file for your device. So hopefully that's a help to you guys and uh, I'm glad we were able to capture that and that's pretty funny that I missed it when I was reviewing stuff because I should uh, I should know better than that but uh, I guess uh, I guess it can happen to anybody so uh, hopefully that was uh, informative for you guys as well.